Daddy, can you teach me about urine finance? I'm not your daddy. I'm Caesar. But yeah, I'll teach you the basics. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're going to take a look at urine finance on Ethereum. Uh, a couple days ago, or uh, one day ago actually, I made this price dumps and I talked a little bit about year and finance and my ideas about the token YFI. Um, I got some DMs from some of my viewers and they asked me to take a, just give them a quick explanation of what year is and what it can do. So I thought I would just do a quick basic little walkthrough of the year and finance website and talk a little bit about the different products that are in year right now. Now these are gonna change pretty soon, so this is not going to be valid for very long, but they, they will all, these, these products will probably still be around for a long time, but there will be better ones coming out. So when you go to yearn.finance, you're met with this page here, which gives you the options to go through these different sections of the website. So we have our dashboard, which will basically cover like what you currently have. Now I've loaded one of my wallets that actually has some products in here. So you will see some of the stats that I'm able to see through the dashboard. And that's where I will start. Next we have vaults. These are the kind of strategies that they use to make yield. These are earn. And this is a kind of like simplified version of these. I'll explain them when we go into these different sections. Zap is just a quick way to get into these things cover i won't go too, too depth on this one but this is basically just allows you to maybe i'm not exactly sure but maybe like short the uh a single asset so you buy that asset and you put it in one of these vaults but you're worried that the assets price is going to go down so here you can short it to kind of cover your if the price does go down at least you will make money on the on the short and then there's a stats page which tells you pretty much the stats of all the things so let's go quick into the dashboard so so here we are into the dashboard and on this wallet I just have three little positions in here one is the um, year in finance vault and the other is the SBCT so Bitcoin vault and the other is a uh, USD uh, US dollar vault so here I can see that I have uh, my percentages of growth on these deposits and you know the weekly growth of them and I can change this to based on the week and you see the numbers change right so what is this like why why when I change these these numbers change these are not actual my actual yields these are calculations based on what the um, the, the the overall performance of the vault was for the past month and then they calculate it down based on how much holdings you have in here and then you can see my net worth so you can compare this number to the number that you put in and uh, up here we just see you know the balance of these tokens and then up here we see the weekly growth so that pretty much covers the dashboard it's a simple version of you know just kind of telling you what's in there what you have in there head over to the vaults now this is the interesting thing this is the the, the keystone products and these are um basically what you're going to do is you're going to deposit a single asset now some of these assets are not actual single like ERC20 tokens like this three ver three curve is an actual uh, combination of these three tokens. Now I'm not going to get into how, how this works and how they go and stuff like that because it's a topic for another video and actually I did make a video here. The audio will be kind of bad but it'll explain this three pool to you and if you go through that then you will also get a pretty good idea of what these other ones are doing. It's, it's, an, it's different, they will have different strategies. They will be doing different things, but you'll kind of understand the complexity of what happens within a vault. So basically you have to obtain these, these three curve vault, these three curve tokens, and you can deposit them in here. And like I said, these are uh, a combination of these three die, USDC and USDT, and you can get those from Curve Finance. Now I'll explain like I said, watch the video here and you will be able to understand how to actually get this three curve token. So when we click open the vault, we can see different kinds of things in here. 
we can see the, the current strategy. That's something that's kind of hard to understand and you don't really need to memorize this, but if you are putting money into this vault, you should probably figure out what it's doing with your money. Now, if you just trust the numbers and you just trust the protocol, it's probably okay too, because one of the things about these vaults is that they're designed so that your three curve will never get less than what you have. They've protected themselves in this sense. They've, they've not allowed it to do anything that risks your money, it only gains your money. So you will always be able to get more back than what you put in as long as you don't do it too quickly. So you'll see some different numbers here, some yearly growth, monthly growth, and weekly growth here. Now again, that's based on the performance of the one month. If you change this to one week, you see the numbers change. So here are some total statistics of like basically me. So let's go to one of the, the vaults that I actually have something in. So here you can see the total earnings that I've made through, you know, just putting, I can't remember how much, like $300 or something in here. Um, the deposits, you know, I'm not exactly sure what this means. Withdrawals, I haven't withdrawn from here. And when I transferred in, oh, this is the total I transferred in, but I have transferred out some. Now, I'm not exactly sure why this says withdrawals here, so I'm sorry, I don't know the, the point of this number here, because this is the number of money. At one point I put 800 in here and I, you know, I took it out to do something with it. Something else, I can't remember what it was I did. Anyhow, so here you have the three, the YCRV that you got from um, this one's also from Curve, and you can deposit them in here. If you have some in here, you can withdraw through this, okay? So this pretty much is the vault. Now you go down here and you have single asset vaults. Now these strategies will be slightly different than these ones, but if you have just simply TUSD, or let's say I just have DAI, I just have some DAI and I want to put the DAI in here and gain 7%. Well, again, remember, that's based on the one week. So I can just put the die in here, deposit, and then I'll get a Y die token that tells the year in finance that they owe me a certain portion of this die vault when I want it. So I can cash in this Y die anytime to get back my die. So there's a bunch in here. There's a few vaults down here that are inactive and that's because the strategy is no longer functioning and they're trying to redesign these strategies and there's a whole lot of designing going on at the same time, so they've turned these off. Now, there is probably still some value locked in here, but I can't see it on this page. I'll see it on the stats page. So that pretty much covers vaults, okay? Now, earn is a much less complex than vaults. What it basically does is it takes, you, you put die in here or whatever, single asset you want to put in here and what it does is it searches the uh, different protocols and finds the one that is currently giving the best interest rate based on lending so you lend the die straight to like say maybe compound finance let's go there so maybe if you they they'd send it to compound finance you know they would get three percent here and maybe if they sent it to a different protocol like Aave or something, they would get a different percent. So they search these protocols that they have listed that, that the proto that uh, this this uh, yearn thing has listed as potential places to put it, and then they will put it in the place that's best. So it's again, it's another little pool. So there's a lot of people's money in here, and you're getting back Y die. So all the it tells that you know you you own a portion of these die, and all those die are being put into one of these these uh, lending pools automatically and moved around every once in a while. So that kind of gives you the gist of what's going on here. Um, so let's move on. Zap. Zap is a kind of way to get into one of the vaults. Let's say, oh, I, I only have a USDC in my wallet. I don't have a, a Y curve or something. So but I want to get into the Y curve, so I could just do it like this. How much USDC, let's say? Oh, 1,000 USD, and I could just zap in, and it would it would send my USDC to curve, convert it to the 3Y that's required, or sorry, the YCRV that's required for this vault, and then it would put you into this vault. So again, over here, Y curve FI. So back to the vaults, this one right here, Y curve FI. So sometimes the names are a little bit confusing, but it's basically one, I'm just supplying one token to get into here. It's, it's just a little convenience feature.
The next thing we have is the cover. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go too deep into this cover. Uh, it's basically just, you know, let's open it up and see. So when you first come into cover, you will see this page here. And I, like, I don't have any cover because I don't feel the need for it. But uh, some people definitely do. And you know, so what it is, is basically you can come in here and be like, oh, I think uh, I want to cover against balancer. I think the balance, my balancer token is in at risk of dropping in value or something along that lines. And I want to cover it so I can pay some ETH to cover my balancer token. Um, like I said, I don't exactly know exactly how this is working and I don't feel the need to use it. So I haven't taken the time to research it very closely. If you want to know more about covering yourself from price loss, I would read up on this. Now, the final page, stats. Stats is the most complex page on Yearn Finance. And basically what it has up here is just some general overall stats. So like the total value locked in about 500 million. Um, the vault holding, so how much is in the vaults? Um, how much is are in the strategies? So the strategies and vaults, this is important, but I will talk about it when we go into the individual stats of each pool or each vault down here. And then the annual v yield 7%. I think this is an average. It's probably an average based on one month of all of the vaults and stuff like that. These are not really that important. But let's go down. Let's say I was, I'm in this one. So let's let's talk about this one here. This is the Y, the curve Y volt that I said I was in before. So I currently have this many YCRV tokens. And this many YCRV tokens is currently worth about that much money. Um, this is the return, uh, like ROIs, which is basically the yearly based on the week. So based on a week. So it's the same as what, what I showed you in the vaults when you clicked around. I click, click, click and said one month, one week. It's all here on one, like straight across this spreadsheet, right? So there's just, it's just some comparisons. So based on a week, this is what the yearly interest is. Based on the performance of the entire month, this is what the yearly interest would be or, you know, APY. Now, this is important here, okay? Now, if you take this number, this is the vault holding, and this is the strategy holding. That's what I was talking about up here. And if you take this number and you minus this number, you get about, in this case, you get about six million, right? So you know that there are six million dollars or six million of these CRV tokens inside the vault just doing nothing, waiting to be deployed or actually just sitting there because they want to have some there for people to withdraw if they want to. So $6 million. If you had more than $6 million or 6 million CRV, if the vault owed you more than 6 million and you wanted to take that out, then you would have to pay a small fee because it'd have to pull from the strategy. You would actually have to close down some of the strategy to get your 6 million. But if you have like, like in this case, $300, I can pull it up without paying any fees. Of course, I'll still pay Ethereum gas fees for the transaction, but I won't actually pay Yearn any like withdrawal fees. So that's pretty much the importance here. And you can, again, you can see the current strategies. Um, these are things that you could read up on or ask, ask about, okay? But where can you ask, right? That's where you should go to the Discord or the Telegram. I would recommend the Discord because it's a little um it's a little more organized and but it'll take a little bit longer to get answers depending on which channel you you use the telegram tends to be very a lot of people talking at the same time so you will still get answers because the, there's quite a few mods in there or admins in there who are actively answering questions so you will get answers here and you'll probably get them faster than in the discord but the discord will be a little more neat and tidy and easy. You can read some Medium articles here. You can follow the Twitter. You can check out the GitHub. Now, I have no idea about the GitHub really because I'm not a coder and I'm, I'm not gonna go in there at all. And then you can also check about the security. So some of the audits here and the, the bug bounty. So if there's a bounty, if you find some bug in the code, you can submit it and they will give you a big chunk of coin. So um, these are some of the community made stat pages. I'm not gonna go through all of these because they're all very different and they they compare to these, to this and different 
you can go through these in your own time and kind of click through them and read through things. If you go through these and you have questions, feel free to put them in the comments of this video or you can come over to these Telegram and Discord and ask people in that community. Over here we have some of the uh, the products. So we have Yearn Finance. If I click this, then I will go back to that first page where you had the big icons in the middle, right? Governance Finance. This is kind of important. So I'm going to open this. So. This is for if you have YFI tokens. You can stake them in here. Just simply stake them, open this up, stake your tokens, and every time you stake tokens in here, you will be gaining YCRV. And YCRV is what I mentioned before, is the thing that is used to deposit in this vault here, this USDC or USD vault. So they're gonna pay you in YCRV. Now, I'm not exactly sure the percentage right now. I think it's 5% or something. Um, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, again, ask in the Discord or ask in the Telegram. Um, so you would stake him here and you can claim the rewards when it comes time. Now, this button is currently non functional. There's another website, I think it's to, to do this right now. They kind of made this not as important because of the, the one vault. There's a vault here called Yearn Finance. And if you click this, you have the ability to deposit YFI tokens in here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically stick the YF tokens into this governance contract, earn the C, oh, sorry, the YCRV, sell the YCRV and buy more YFI tokens. So this is kind of better for, the, for your YFI tokens because it's adding some buying pressure to the token price. So if you have YFI tokens, it might be a good idea to put it in here. But if you don't want more YFI tokens, but you want to hold on to them, then I you could stick them in here and actually gain it. So that pretty much covers the uh, general gist of this. Like I said, this was just a walk around. It wasn't an in-depth, detailed explanation of every little thing. But uh, I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or feel free to visit the Discord or the, uh, the Telegram and ask there. Okay, thanks again. Goodbye. If you made it this far through the video, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want, you'll notice that you could always subscribe to my channel. If you, you may have noticed that uh, my um, thumbnails have changed. Now this is because I got a new microphone and it's improved my audio quite a bit. I hope, I hope you guys have noticed. Um, all of these old videos, if you see the brownish, grayish here, those are my old videos. The sound quality is quite it's it's bad so if you want to watch them go ahead but you know i'm going to try to remake some of them maybe maybe not um but sometimes i'll link to these and if you go to the links then i, I apologize for the sound quality now if you would like to support the channel you can you know subscribe you can like you can comment below you can come and check out my twitter i only ever tweet about cryptocurrency related topics so you feel free to join me there link in the description the final way you can help me is you can head over to Rarible and pick up a um, NTF if you like. You know, I try to make them cheap. I'm going to try to make some new ones as well. These don't seem to be too popular. But if you feel like throwing me a few bucks, you know, grab an NTF. Get an NTF out of the deal. So these are all of the li links are in the description for these places. So feel free to check them out. And thank you again. Goodbye.